Hey, what is going on, Pooper Doodles? It's Star Lord. <laughs> uh, let's get into the game. Let's get into the video. Let's go! Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm gonna be counting down my top five glitches in Pokemon Brick Bronze for Roblox. Now, these glitches are absolutely amazing. Some of them aren't found by me, some of them are, but you know, it's whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to actually do these glitches while I present them, because I know that not a lot of people actually watched all of my glitch videos, so this is kind of gonna be a helpful place to find all of them, like, kind of together, you know? So, uh, yeah, before before we get into the video guys, don't forget to leave a like, and uh, yeah, let's get on to glitch number one, okay. Okay, so kicking it off with the first glitch in the top 5 series, guys, we have the Walk on Water glitch. Now, this glitch is kind of patched in the newer updates. There is still one or two or three places that this still does work, but I can honestly say that when Surf comes out, we will be able to do this glitch once again everywhere, guys, so it's going to be still pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, I remember this one was found a couple of months back. There was two versions of this glitch. This is the newer version that still works. And uh, yeah, it's still one of the best glitches. I still love doing it and kind of confusing people how to do it. Now, rather than actually telling you guys a guide right now in the video, I will link at the description, in the description, uh, the actual video tutorial I did for this when I first started doing Pokemon Brick Bonds videos because it is kind of a complicated glitch and it does take a while to explain and uh, yeah it was very hard for me to explain it to you guys so I don't want to go through that again because it confuses me and it kind of confuses you I have a perfectly fine guide in the description if you want to know how to do this what I'm doing on screen right now where I'm just bopping everywhere on the water uh, then make sure that you go and click it and watch it but yeah guys this is definitely definitely one of my favorite glitches in this game it's absolutely amazing and I cannot wait until they bring out surf because we will be able to do this again and it's gonna be awesome like you won't even need to get uh, a Pokemon who knows surf to actually go across the water you can just do this glitch anywhere you want which is amazing uh, so yeah let us move on to glitch number two guys now glitch number two is one that I think not many people actually know about but is still one of the craziest glitches that I have ever ever seen on this game basically what you need to do is do the exact same glitch where you go inside of a kind of a you know like a root extender or a doorway or something and as you're walking forward into it you have to click open your bag and then you'll have that interface where you can walk around whilst your bag is open so basically what we need to do is do the walk on water glitch that is essentially what I'm doing right now in the video and uh, yeah we, once we've done it what we then want to do is kind of go to uh, this city right here I actually forget what it's called why do I forget what it's called I love this city uh, basically it's the one where you can dive underneath the water and uh, yeah we're gonna actually go and do that right now we're gonna go and pay somebody to go diving underneath the water in the submarine uh, so here you go hello again what would you like to buy another you and your berries what we have to do is very carefully click the dive button and then it'll ask us to save the game now one very important glitch uh, or part of this glitch is that you disable auto save because this can really mess up your game so always remember to disable auto save i will actually have a video on how to do this glitch in the description uh, of this video so if you want to actually do the land submarine glitch then yeah make sure to go and check it out guys but basically after going down here with the interface you can click get unstuck which will then teleport you above the surface like right now in an actual submarine how crazy is that? This is definitely one of those glitches when I saw it, I was like so confused. I was like, why does this happen? Why does this even work? But um, yeah, it's amazing. And including the new hoverboard updates, we can actually use the hoverboard whilst inside the submarine. And uh, yeah, as you guys are probably seeing on screen right now, that is what I'm doing. And it is super fun to do. Unfortunately, not everyone can actually see you in the submarine doing this. So they can see you kind of just walking around like normal, which is kind of like a bummer. But still, it's a very awesome glitch to kind of have on your YouTube channel if you are a glitcher anyway. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is the land submarine glitch. And uh, yeah, let's move on to glitch number three. 
Now, glitch number three is a very popular glitch, and I would like to say I publicize this quite a lot. Like, I'm pretty sure when people, like, think of me as a glitcher, they would think of this glitch, because I'm always doing it in my games. Basically, what you need to do to do the hover on walls glitch is have the banana board. This is, like, one of the only boards that can really do this glitch successfully. And, uh, basically, once you're, like, kind of popped up on a surface or a wall, you can then just kind of glide across little bumps, like I am right now, and get out of the map. You basically raise yourself out of the map and that is just crazy awesome. I said when I saw this update I was like I'm gonna glitch this. I'm gonna glitch that hoverboard so awesomely crazy. And uh, yeah within the day I actually well myself I found this glitch. I'm not saying that I was the founder but I didn't see anybody do it before I found out how to do it myself if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, this glitch opens up so many possibilities, and it will I think it will always be in the game, personally. I genuinely think this glitch will always be in the game, and uh, yeah, it's just one of those awesome ones that people like to do when messing around. Like, look at this! I'm on the sky barrier! I'm walking around in the sky, which kind of makes me look like I'm huge, just like walking on water. But yeah, I'm genuinely just walking on the sky barrier, and that is absolutely insane to have that as a glitch. Uh, like, you know, the silliest glitch, like hovering on a wall, can lead to such amazing things like this one right here. Uh, but yeah, that concludes glitch number three, guys. So let's move on to glitch number four. Okay, so glitch number four is actually one found by a friend of mine called Troy, and it allows you to get into secret rooms all across the game simply by doing the bag glitch you know the one that i've been speaking about pretty much all through this series or all through this video i guess basically you do the bag glitch and once you go inside like the area that you want to glitch into you walk back out close your bag just as it gets off the black screen and hold forward and you actually go inside of a secret room of the building you had just entered and it works anywhere and that's the beauty of the bag glitch like it's so crazy the way such a small glitch, like, founded the walk on water glitch, the land submarine glitch, and also the secret rooms glitch. You know, that one little tiny glitch made all of that possible. And that is what's crazy about glitches. You just never know how things work and how they will turn out when you're doing them. I don't know. But this is definitely one of my favorite glitches. I'm kind of surprised I didn't find it myself. But I guess Troy is just a very awesome glitcher like myself. Uh, but yeah, guys, that concludes glitch number four. And we are now going to move on to glitch number five. Now, glitch number five is a very well-known glitch once again, guys. It is actually the infinite repel glitch. One of my favorites as it allows you to go past every trainer in the game without battling them. How crazy is that? That's just insane. Uh, but basically, just getting outside of any map. Uh, personally, I chose to use the bag glitch once again uh, for this example. But uh, yeah, I got out of the map right here. And uh, yeah, even though that's a pretty cool glitch in itself, once you actually jump down off this ledge and go into like the kind of black abyss kind of thing, you will then have activated an infinite repel glitch. I don't necessarily know why this works, but I do know that it will never be patched. I'm pretty sure of it. This glitch will always exist in Pokemon Brick Bronze and pretty much every other game that is like Brick Bronze actually. So yeah, uh, once you're out of the map, you click get unstuck just like I did or you fly to any city you want and then you go into any kind of random kind of grass and just walk up and down. You will never encounter a Pokemon unless you're actually doing a, a rock smash on like a rock and you encounter like a, a shuckle or something, then you will encounter a Pokemon. But other than that, in long grass or the water or something, you will never encounter a Pokemon, guys. And that is just absolutely insane. Uh, so yeah, guys, that has pretty much concluded my top five glitches for Pokemon Brick Bronze. A lot of people actually asked me for this and I thought, you know what? I guess like, yeah, I have the time. I'll make the video, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you do want to know a very in-depth version on how to do these glitches, Go and check the description as there will be guides to each one of them individually on how to do them properly and uh, yeah, it'll explain it a little bit better than what I did today. I was just kind of ranking my top five, I guess. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like and uh, yeah, have a fantastic day and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.